You know, I, about 18 years ago, I was looking to adopt a special needs child. A caseworker came out to my home and said, oh, my favorite little boy in the system. She said, but oh, is he complicated? And I saw his picture the next day and I knew he was my son. I think when she saw him, she fell in love and um, he wasn't expected to live. At that point, he was four and a half and they said he wouldn't live to be five and he'll be 23 in July, so. And I remember something his foster dad said to me. He said, are you gonna feel sorry for my boy? And I said, no, sir, I'm gonna feel sorry when he's sick and he's in pain. But no, if he's feeling okay, we're on the go. They travel a lot. Um, he's been to a lot of concerts. We go rafting, we go to, we go honky tonking. Going to rodeos or going to concerts. And then I'm gonna say about 11, 11 or 12. He woke up one morning and was just, it was kind of a nightmare. He was bashing his head in the wall self-abusive, he's got, I've got scars and we're biting, he was out of control. Yeah, he was mad all the time. When you can't communicate your wants and your needs effectively, you rage. I don't know if he cried more, I cried more. I kind of lost my sweet little boy. We noticed he liked music. And so actually family members gave us for Christmas a scholarship to some music classes. When he first started to come, we were in the smallest room in the clinic, and I had to empty the entire room out before he would come in. He couldn't sit like this at all. I mean, he would have been all over the place, very angry to ask him to sit still. And then he would have to earn, through regulated behavior choices, he could earn an instrument, or he could earn a box of instruments. Morgan gave us some tools to use. Like, I remember in the beginning, we would sing to him, like, if you know what you want, you say, I want, please. So it was just helping him find effective ways to just state his needs. In a nutshell, music therapy is the use of music to reach therapeutic goals. So music is a full brain process. It can be a full body process. That can be all the way from helping someone have better speech, to working on motor skills, to working on mental health skills. And typically um, the music therapist can present the music in a way that it is approachable and meaningful and not intimidating. And Morgan very slowly started working with him on 10 second activities and then she would move it to 30 second activities and then I mean now they can sit at the piano and he'll work on a song for 30 minutes. You know he really loves it. Morgan I don't know how to, Morgan, Morgan is his person. I mean, she's his best friend. He is, has a very special place in my heart. The bond they have is just amazing. We have always clicked. It's a lot following her directions. I think sometimes he switches it and she follows his direction, but. Uh, I have a plan and I want to have the plan formulate. They argue like husband and wife sometimes. It's funny, because he always wants his certain songs. And and a lot of the progress is not and has not ever been overnight. It's been culmination of a lot of time together spent, so. If I can say it without crying, he was about 14 and he was sitting on the couch next to me. And at that point, there was really nothing clear I had heard of his words. And he looked at me and he said, I love you, mama. And I just, you know, and I work, I work with families that never get to hear that. And I feel like he's able to communicate, he's able to tell me what he needs. And I still think music therapy is like the hidden secret. Music therapy is so much more than meets the eye. It's not just, not just singing songs. There's a lot going on beneath the surface. Our biggest passion is seeing individuals who maybe struggle in different areas of life to really shine and really experience joy through music. And like I said, I, I, the power of music has just, it's changed our world. It's given him his life back. <laughs>